Before we start with the main video, I would like to thank you ShiftSync for being the main video sponsor for today. I love communities. You can meet with like-minded people to exchange on specific topics and learn something new. In case you missed it, there is a great new community out there waiting for you to join for free. It's called ShiftSync, a place for testers, developers and DevOps specialists and others, if you like so. The goal of ShiftSync is to create a dynamic and engaging space for developers, testers and industry leaders to share knowledge and grow professionally. Quality is more than testing and such sharing with collaboration will help improve the software, de software development lifecycle on every stage. From a security point of view, code writing, defining requirements or accelerating performance and setting up high functioning development teams. ShiftSync is a community for anyone and everyone interested in all aspects of quality engineering, from left to right across the software development spectrum. You can engage in, with relevant end users, practitioners, testers, developers, developer, DevOps specialists, software administrators or product managers. You can find relevant content such as blog posts, discussions, roundtables or webinars. The community creates uh, created also added gamification to solve missions and challenges to earn points and to rank with the community members. So that's a great thing. Make sure to sign up, use the link in the video description and to start your community collaboration today and find like-minded people to exchange your knowledge, share your knowledge and grow your skill set as of today. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott and I'm happy that you're here today. Today's video is the topic software testing material and what is this all about? Software testing material can be anything, right? But um, it's about learning resources basically and if you have seen one of my previous videos that I recorded a couple of months ago was how to get into software testing where I was already recommending to, to get some books, to read blogs and to, yeah, to, to shape your CV in order to get into software testing. Um, today's video is all about material that I usually suggest to people who would like to learn new skills or who would like to get into software testing. So for example, career changes. Uh, I have worked with a couple of career changes in, in the past years and they always ask me like, hey Daniel, can you recommend some resources that are helpful for me to get into testing, to learn everything about it. And yes, of course, there's really great material. And uh, of course, you can spend hours on, on searching online where to find great resources. And that's why I thought like, hey, let's do a video about software testing material because there's so many great resources out there that you can use in order to yeah, learn new skills, get into testing or to exchange with the community that we have. So this video is all about software testing material. There is a disclaimer. I have not everything for you today, right? I mean, there's so many things out there. And in case you have a really great resource uh, for learning and for learning new skills, leave a comment down below, share it with all of us. We can all benefit from it. Really looking forward to your comment on that. So let's take a look what I have brought for you today. So the first resource that I brought for you is should not be a big of surprise if you're working already in the software testing industry, but if you are a career changer, for example, you would like to get into testing, I highly recommend the Ministry of Testing. If you go to ministryoftesting.com, you can find or you will find a great community, a great set of resources that you can learn from, basically. So as you can see on the left side, they have courses, they have articles, they have events, like test bashes, there's a discussion board like a forum, they have news and so forth and so forth, podcasts and even more of the stuff. So I highly recommend you to maybe sign up for the paid premium account because then you get full access to all the courses they have available online. So you can learn any everything about API, software test the sky to Chrome DevTools, XPath, CSS and so forth and so forth. You can see there's a long list of topics that you can learn from if you have the paid membership. The paid membership is also beneficial for you in order if you like to attend events uh, or online seminars or stuff like that or even you get access to all previous um, events that have been recorded. So the test specials, so all the test specials, all the test special talks, you can go here, click on watch them and then you can watch all the talks 
that ever have been recorded from the Ministry of Testing and that's really a great set of resources. So I, I don't know how many how many talks are there recorded, but it's amazing. So it's already worth uh, spending the, the money for it. On the other side, we have uh, the, the Ministry of Testing Club. And this is like, if you know forums, you know the, you know the drill, you can, you can go there, ask your questions, leave feedback, leave replies, leave, leave hearts and you know emojis in case you, you like what has been posted. And you can also ask questions like, hey, I have a specific question to leadership, to tools, to career moves, jobs, and so forth and so forth. That's your place. So I usually recommend to be part of the Ministry of Testing community. It's a great one. Um, the second resource that I brought for you today in this video is, is also not a big surprise for those working in the industry, is the Test Automation University. So in case you are already working with um, software testing, you have the fundamentals, but you would like to get into test automation, the Test Automation University powered by Apply Tools, is the perfect resource, to be honest. They have, I don't know how many learning paths available and it's all for free. So let's let's take a deep, uh, quick look on the learning path that you can go to. So you can learn everything about web UI and Java path. You can use, learn everything about web UI with JavaScript, with Python, with Ruby. And so you can learn anything, everything about Java API testing, API Python. So you can see there's a lot of stuff going on in, in a different path. And let's say we would like to learn everything about mobile Java path. We can go into and then you can see you have 17 more courses to take. So you can learn this, the fundamentals of test automation. You can learn something about IntelliJ, Java programming, uh, introduction to test in G and so forth and so forth. And you can also say, hey, I would like to do some automated visual testing with Appium. So you go ahead and there you go. There you have the, uh, the course. This one uh, has five chapters and you can learn from it. The cool thing is um, about it, as I just mentioned, everything is for free available and uh, you can sign up on the on the website. It's for free, as I mentioned, and they also added a little gamification uh, to it. So you can see like um, every time you, you, uh, you finish a course or a, a path, you get some points and you can rank up on the on the participant list. So there's a little, of, little bit of gamification in there and that's great. That's cool. Go ahead and check it out. And last but not least, uh, the third resource I would like to show you today is actually softwaretestingmaterial.com, which is similar to my, my video title. And this is actually a great website where you can find lots and lots of information about software testing. So there's also a lot of um, um, software test testing tutorials up here. You can learn a lot about tools, toolings. You have interview questions uh, available and also some free resources. So let's take a look, for example, in tutorials. We would like to learn everything about Selenium. So you go in here, click on it, and then you get a really nice overview on the things that you can do with, with Selenium. Yeah? Things that you can learn, tutorials, FAQs, uh, Java courses for beginners. So it's a great, great, great um, collection of um, learning resources. As you can see here, some further links, how you can get into uh, Selenium and now it's the test in G and so forth. So everything is in there. So it's a great collection of learning uh, opportunities that I usually recommend as well. Yeah, so these are the three um, things that I usually recommend. It's it's very first, it's, it's really broad, you know, as I just mentioned, it's like for beginners, it's great to read through things. I, am, I already mentioned, as I said in the video, I mentioned before, I mentioned lots of great books that you can read. Also, there are many, many, many great blogs out there in the software testing community. Basically, you can find everything also within the Ministry of Testing. Uh, where you can browse through uh, the blogs that are available. Also, you can connect with leaders from the testing community and ask them direct questions. I'm also on there. So in case you have a question over there, ping me. I'm happy to help you out. Um, yeah, I'm really curious to know more what you suggest in your team, in your company about the different learning resources. And as I said, there's plenty, plenty of more things to cover. I mean, there's also more, lots of more paid content. For example, on Udemy, for example, you can go there, sign up and take lots of lots of courses. But as of today and as for this video, I picked those three resources. But leave me a comment in case you have more, more to share with us. Um, would be great. As always, leave me a thumbs up, 
leave a subscription. I'm more than happy to see it and have a great day. Bye bye.